Good morning. Today's smoothie is going to be broccoli and blueberry, among other things. But this is going to be really cool. Again, this is a new recipe. I have not tried this one before, so we are doing this together. As always, I start with the liquid at the bottom. I am using um, my pea milk. This one's not flavored. So again, pea milk has eight grams of protein versus almond milk, which only has one gram. So I, I like to use the, the pea milk. Um, I'm gonna put in some yogurt. This is vanilla flavored, Okios Pro, uh, 23 grams of protein. I usually put about, I usually put in most of my smoothies two to three big scoops, big tablespoon scoops. Um, I'm going to put in some blueberries, some fresh blueberries as well. I'm going, to use, I'm going to put in, I think, two handfuls. I'll start with two. If I, uh, if I uh, need more, I'll do that. Um, and I've got my broccoli powder here. I'm going to get napkin. Oh, blueberries under the nails. All right, so I got uh, the, the broccoli powder from my boyfriend. He gave me some, so I can use one of my shakes. Um, and, aw, he gave me the scooper. So I'm gonna use one scoop of that. I'm gonna also use my matcha powder. Um, I'm gonna use, I think it's a, yeah, half a teaspoon is a serving. So I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of that. Approximately, that looks like a little bit more. That looks almost look, looks like more like a teaspoon than a than a half a teaspoon, but that's okay. I'm also going to use a teaspoon of my um, superfood blend. It's the maca, reishi, and ashwagandha, and that I know is a teaspoon, which is a serving. Um, I've got my collagen protein here, and this is also vanilla flavored. I'm going to use one scoop of that. Um, that, I believe, has nine grams of protein. Um, you can use two scoops in other, and I have in other items, um, and, you know, of course, it's twice the protein, 18 grams, but I'm only using one scoop today. I've got to get my flaxseed intake. I find it best to help with the menopause symptoms. Um, it's one of the items that helps. And, oops, that was kind of mean. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of that in there. And to sweeten up the pot, just to get a little bit of sweetness in there, I'm gonna use um, my boyfriend's homemade blueberry preserves. Yeah, it's got a lot of sugar, so, um, you know, you can use a, a sugar-free. Just be careful when you're using sugar-free items because, you know, aspartame, sucralose, they're not healthy for you. They've done some research and they're showing that, you know, cancer-causing, Alzheimer's, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I'd rather use, like, honey, um, real, you know, natural sugar, agave, anything that... Um, you want to use for a sweetener, do it naturally. Mm. I always like to lick the spoon. I'm going to add a little bit of more of my pea milk in there. I always like to top it off with the liquid as well. All right, I think we are good to go. I might add some ice cubes in this too. I've been adding ice cubes. It's been really hot here in southeastern Massachusetts, so a little bit of a heat wave. Um, I've been using ice cubes in my Oh, that looks good. See that? It doesn't have that usually brown uh, that it usually happens with the, the blueberries. Um, I usually get a brown color in there. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't add the spinach. I think the, the spinach and the blueberry together, um, I decided to use the the maca and the broccoli powder instead of the egg. So excited! Alright. I can't 
Look at that little bit of yogurt. Let me try and see how this is. Oh, it's pretty thick, good. Oh, that's really good. That's sweet. Maybe you could use a little bit less of the blueberry preserve, especially if you don't like things really sweet. But I like sweet, so this is good for me. Um, if you have any smoothie ideas, any recipes, anything that you, you would like me to make for you or, you know, you want to share a recipe, put it in the comments below. I'd be interested in hearing some feedback on what you guys um, have for smoothies. And if you have any creative ideas but don't want to venture yourself, Send them in the comments. I will make them for you here uh, live. And until next time, guys, oh, make sure you let the people that you love know that you love them. Send them that text. Give them a call. Give them a great big hug. Every chance you get, live your life enthusiastically. Now, until next time, guys, stay blessed. Peace.